This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at physical and chemical changes. Let's start by looking at physical changes. In a physical change, no new substances are produced. The melting of ice, which we can see in the picture on the left, is an example of a physical change. When ice melts, no new substances are produced. Instead, water in the solid state changes to water in the liquid state. Because there are no new substances being produced, this is an example of a physical change. Next we look at two more examples of physical changes, evaporation and sublimation. On the left we have the evaporation of bromine, in which bromine in the liquid state changes to bromine in the gaseous state. On the right we have the sublimation of iodine, in which iodine in the solid state changes to iodine in the gaseous state. Because both these examples are physical changes, no new substances are being produced. Next we look at chemical changes. A chemical change results in the formation of new chemical substances. In a chemical reaction, the atoms in the reactants are rearranged to form new products. Here we have an example of a combustion reaction in which methane reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. The first thing we notice about this reaction is that there are the same number of atoms in the reactants as there are in the products. The law of conservation of mass states that in a chemical reaction matter is not created or destroyed. The second thing we notice is that the atoms of the reactants have been rearranged to form new products. For example, the carbon atom that made up the methane molecule is now part of the carbon dioxide molecule. And the oxygen atoms that made up the oxygen molecules are now part of the carbon dioxide and water molecules. So from this example, we can see that in a chemical change, the atoms in the reactants are rearranged to form new chemical substances.